that's what I'm doing. It is Thursday. Yes, today is Thursday. Food poisoning by uh, food poisoning by proxy. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. All I do know is we're gonna mishandle pork, and then we're gonna handle some uh, some raw veggies, and then we'll eventually cook it up and maybe wash our hands once or twice. Uh. But, other than that, I mean, I should be fine. I don't know about you. <laughs> I'm gonna finish sending out my notifications. <laughs> I what? We have a place here that does uh, like a four inch thick pork chop. Yeah, see, I, I don't quite have that. That's actually quite difficult to find. Uh yes, I haven't. Okay, I haven't been able. To, I haven't gotten a chance to get back out and actually get Kerrygold. I will get back to using the proper butter. Actually, I might not even, I might go a step above carrot gold soon. We'll see if I can, um, if I can consistently find it. But there's a, uh, there are a couple places around here that sell like really nice butter. <laughs> It is very simple to make my own butter too. You are right, but that requires me to do stuff. I am fairly, uh, yeah, Hatcher's is what I'm wanting to use. Eh, I'll look at it later, uh, Sakuragi. Don't let me forget though, because I will be on D&D later and I will definitely want to check it out. I just, I don't want to, I don't feel like opening it up right now. Almost forgot my apron. Mind you, I only have the one apron, so Luke gets to not use one today. Uh, because my wash machine, I just swapped it out, but the, uh, the water pipes on it are, uh, how to describe it? Basically, they're not sealed right. So I have to get sealers for them, I guess. And I'm not solo today. I will be with Luke. Luke is just running a little late. He had a chiropractor's meeting. So what I figure I'll do here is I'm gonna move this 
the peppers and meat and stuff out of my way and i will uh i'll probably portion I'll, i'm gonna go ahead and portion out what you guys see on the uh, the screen right now i'm gonna get all the uh the ingredients set up for the cinnamon rolls because i'm gonna do some cinnamon uh, cinnamon rolls tonight for dinner because that's what i wanted to eat for dinner dessert i mean dessert eh, sure a Din dinner dessert same thing right interchangeable for the most part <laughs> Then roll up these sleeves here. Stainless steel hoses. See, the thing is, the hoses aren't bad. And I made the mistake of, uh, I, I sent my brand new hoses with the old washing machine. I meant to send these ones. I didn't realize that these ones just didn't have the... So I was like, whatever, I'll send them. They, they look like the exact same things, except one has a uh, plastic coating on the outside of it. Okay, whatever. My mistake. <laughs> so I've got to get these. I just got to get them resealed, really. Got to get the little tape for them or O-rings, whatever it is. I'm not quite positive. Ah, see that'll work food discord that's the whole point of it that way we we get to see visually what it is oh okay okay sounds good yeah i'll come grab them then i'm not gonna do it tonight obviously um but uh maybe tomorrow before i go into work if you don't mind if that oh no you won't be there you won't be there um Nice. I don't know, when would be a decent time for it? Because I, I work pretty much the rest of the week. The, uh, the only problem. So, like, I'd have to be able to come over in the morning. Ooh. What? Mother is going to sleep at 6 o'clock? I never have my overhead light in the kitchen on. You, don't you remember what happens if I turn the overhead light on? You have this ugly light that's happening. I don't like the look of it. It definitely doesn't help anything. And it backlights my face, darkens me. Yeah, it doesn't make it look better. We've done this before. Or did you forget that we've done this before? I only have one light on me. And it's not that that's a weak light, it's that this is, uh, is multiple tube fluorescent lights. It's those long tube lights. So it's ridiculously strong. It has nothing to do with this light. Yeah, like these, uh, these ki uh, the kitchen light is the problem. It's not this, it's the kitchen light. So on my next paycheck, what you guys are gonna see is I will get uh, I'll be getting two more lights, basically. Um, I don't remember. I'd have to look it up. I don't remember. Uh, but yeah, like, I just, they're, like, it's this that's the problem. It's not this. All right, so real quick, let's uh, while we talk, let's go ahead and portion out some uh, some ingredients here. Hmm. 
<laughs> well, hey guys, say hi to mom who is currently sleeping. What the ever loving hell of it. Why would you eat like, oh my. <laughs> um, and honestly, I don't even really know. So Sakuragi, I will say, if you have any lighting suggestions, it was something I was thinking about earlier whenever I was cleaning up the living room. If you have lighting suggestions, send them to me. I would absolutely love to see what your suggestions are. Not super budget, but like, um, I don't know, like, I feel like that's probably something we should talk about more because thought to a number. I mean, I could, okay, I can, let's just say I can easily drop a hundred dollars on it. I can easily drop a hundred on it. Um, if we're passing 200, that's when I'm getting iffy. If that, if that helps. And anything you find, just go ahead and send it in Discord so I, I remember to look at it later. Now, I will say that pork chop is huge. Did everybody else go look at that pork chop that he sent me? Go into the Discord right now, into the food, and look at that pork chop. It is massive. Absolutely massive. <laughs> All right, let's get a couple bowls out. Uh, I actually washed most of this stuff earlier today because I've been using it and get stuff to measure things out with this way get a nice even measure okay. so we're going to start by just getting the, we're gonna get three cups of uh, fl all-purpose flour up here. We're gonna start there. Ah, oh, I'm already making a mess. Not only it matters that much, I will need the flour all over the countertop eventually anyway, right? Two. Three. There we go. So we're gonna get that first three cups. The extra half cup will be just in case we need it. If we don't need it, it's not a big deal. Oh, we won't even put it in there. But we're gonna start with three cups. We're gonna get basically all of our dry ingredients in here. Now, what I don't have mentioned is that we actually need to divide some of our ingredients here. So it's gonna be the three quarters cup, uh, three and a half cup flour divided you're gonna want three cups at first, and then decide whether you need the second uh, half cup later. Then we're gonna need a um, uh, half cup of sugar. Half of that is gonna go into here. So one quarter cup is gonna go into here, and then another quarter cup is gonna go into our mixture, which until Luke gets here, we won't be able to make our sugar, uh, our sugar mixture for the inside of these cinnamon rolls. So we'll have to wait for that. Um, then, Obviously, the uh, quarter cup packed brown sugar, once again, goes in the, uh, the mixture. The t uh, two tablespoons of uh, ground cinnamon, or tea, yeah, tablespoons is gonna go into our mixture once again. And so really all this is, is gonna be your milk. Your, uh, it's gonna be a quarter, a quarter cup of butter. And so half this melted but that melt is going to get melted into your milk so we'll do that once we get there and then your yeast is going to go into your milk again as well and after you've heated it up we're going to heat that yeast or we're going to heat the milk up to about 110 degrees so we've got our thermometer out today uh, 110 100 uh, between 110 and 130 degrees so that we can activate our uh, quick rising yeast i didn't you know we're going to be using quick rising yeast today so that we can get a faster product so we don't have to do it you know four hours in advance or never actually use regular yeast just put it that way <laughs> uh, no. now my mother's probably gonna look at me like garrett you've never used regular yeast i'm gonna smack you me um i'm gonna get smacked because that's all i can do at that point
and Luke would be making fun of me as well. Uh, surprised the Gilfer's not making fun of me for that. I hear an okay from Sakuragi. No, oh, that's a, that's an old message. <laughs> Level it off. Two and, a uh, two and a quarter teaspoons here. You're going to want to make sure to heat this up so that it does actually do it. I have a very messy fridge right now, so you guys don't get a look in that. Then, so one cup milk, with uh, which we'll eventually get our quarter cup of butter. And then the rest of that butter is gonna be put, uh, plopped on top of our cinnamon rolls before they go into the, uh, the microwave. That's a microwave now. Not a stove, a microwave, an oven. <laughs> well, I gotta try uh, try new stuff, right? How are we gonna learn if we don't watch somebody do it poorly and or possibly correctly? I feel like that's, you know. And that's the whole fun of this, right? Like, I could, if I wanted to, I could do Asian food every single day. I could flawlessly do Asian food, well, not all forms of Asian food, but a decent variety of Asian food every single day. Perfectly fine. Woo! That's easy. That's no fun. No fun. We gotta learn, and you're right. It's fun to watch experience and grow. And the thing is, some of you guys, maybe you'll cook along with me some days. I meant to send this one out, but I lost track of time, really. I went fishing on Monday. I blame it on that. <laughs> which you guys honestly what would you guys say if i caught fish and used those fish that we caught on a stream i personally think it would be an awesome idea but i feel like i'm so proud and s Haley b would have to be here I really feel like that would be amazing. So that's our butter. I'm also using a knife that has been in my drawer for a while. And I'm using it today because I spent about 30 minutes sharpening it this morning. Because I saw that it had uh, nicks in the blade and so I figured I'd use a Christmas gift that was given to me by I'm So Proud and sharpen it up. Clean up, the, uh, clean up those nicks, those uh, nasty, nasty nicks. They are clean though, and honestly, this blade looks really nice now. Very happy about it. I had a reason to use the, uh, the coarser for, uh, portions of the blade or of the sharpener which was nice I don't usually get to because most of my blades are fairly sharp as it is so it's not usually something I get to do but today having found like I was just going through my drawer looking through the random knives that we've got I found that this blade had a bunch of nicks in it and so I fixed them I felt good Either walleye or we would have to go down to the dam and catch some of those big bass that we can get. Big bass, big catfish, stuff like that. And I will say, most of that stream would definitely be new, uh, new territory for me. Um, it'd be stuff that I've wanted to practice for a while. So I feel like for our next uh, next fishing excursion, that's definitely what we should do. Um, Mom also wanted uh, wanted some fish for herself to cook as well. So that would definitely make uh, uh, Akamore's mom very happy if we took care of that. 
Oh, oh, guys, 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 guys. Okay, so Luke's not here yet. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna give you guys random tidbits, right? So today, I spent a lot of my time, um, well, shopping, buying random stuff. Uh, I bought thing. Where did I put it? Okay, okay. So, me and Andrew were talking about doing the Queen's Cupcakes. So I really needed a scale for that. I, you know, honestly, I needed a scale for baking in general, but I really wanted to do the Queen's Cupcakes. So I went ahead and today I went and bought a digital scale. Um, it's nice, it's efficient, it's correct. Uh, <laughs> so that's, I like that. I have decided that I really need a new Teflon pan. So I'm gonna start looking into that. Um, because my Teflon pans are for the most part ruined. Um, you know, amateur hour when I got them originally, I didn't really know how to handle Teflon pans. <laughs> uh, I didn't really get to, I don't really know how to handle Teflon. I didn't know how to handle Teflon pans back in the day. So I kind of ruined mine. Yeah, non-sticks. Non-sticks in general, really. Um, doesn't have to be Teflon. But I, it just basically, I need new pans or because mine are ruined. Mine are, uh, first of all, they're pretty old. Second of all, they were poorly handled when I originally moved into the, my first apartment. Oh no, I don't plan on putting much money into them. I just, basically I wanna buy some that have good handles on them. That's my big thing. Cause like, they don't really, you know, they don't really vary that heavily from pan to pan, except for the handles. And the handles begin to get wobbly and that bothers me cause it's hard to saute properly with, uh, with wobbly handles. So I wanna make sure that I get some that have you know, basically full metal handles with a grip around that handle instead of you know, a, plastic, uh, a plastic handle that is uh, bolted onto a, uh, a pan. So basically that's all, I just wanna make sure that I actually buy the proper, uh, proper pans for it. What's up Alley Cat, how you doing today? Um, you get to see us make some cinnamon rolls. But I have to wait until the brown sugar gets here. I guess, I, do I really need to wait till, I don't need to wait until the brown sugar or the garlic gets here because the garlic and the brown sugar aren't actually part of that. So actually we can just go ahead and start making the, uh, start making the cinnamon rolls, I guess. Well, I guess not really, we have like three minutes. We'll give them three minutes to get here. Uh, but yeah, so basically, uh, yes, yeah, cinnamon rolls. Cinnamon rolls will be made today. Yes. Um, we're gonna be doing cinnamon rolls, we're gonna be doing pork chops, and we'll be doing sweet and sour that, uh, peppers. And, and technically it's peppers and onions, but the, the, pepper are the fo uh, peppers are the focus of it. Um, but, that, uh, so that's the, uh, that's the plan for the day. And uh, really, I mean, yeah, we're waiting on Luke to get here with brown sugar because I totally forgot to buy some and garlic because I actually couldn't find any fresh garlic. Um, <laughs> uh, see, I have yeast, but I'm using quick rising yeast. Um, don't yell at me. I know you're probably like, hey, what are you doing with that? <laughs> but oh yes what i wanted to show you guys looky looky so we will no longer be eating in the living room now turning it over here see that light that light is not nearly as oppressive that light is nowhere near as uh in your face that light over there but I have the actual table set up. I have a nice tablecloth on it, a few chairs. Ignore the dryer over there. It's gonna get taken out tonight.
Yes. Got a confession to make. Do you not eat on a table or do you or do you use instant rise yeast? <laughs> Or do, you, or do you not have a dryer? Do you not have a dryer? Is that, is that what we're confessing? She bakes in a microwave? God, have you seen what she bakes? If she pulls that shit off in a microwave? No, seriously, go back through the bakery section in, the, in our uh, Discord. Go back up through that. She has some posts in there. If she does that in a microwave, I'd be impressed. Yeah, you would just, yeah, like, I would be very impressed if she did that in a microwave. Front door. Oh, snap. Hold up, what time is it, what time is it? Exactly at 4.30. No. No, I've been here. I've been streaming for thirty minutes. But we have an actual dinner table. I cleaned off your uh, your thing. Nice. And uh, Sakuragi was going to advise me on some new light lighting so that we can make this better. Um, <laughs> I have ingredients. You might be moving. Where do you think you'll be moving to? Said you have ingredients. Gradents in the car. Gradents? Her. Right. Well, one of them I actually legit just couldn't find. Uh, fresh garlic. I couldn't, yeah, I had two different Kroger's. Couldn't Kroger. find it. Walmart didn't have it. You want to move to Colorado? Ah, oh, you want the reefer? Heard. Wait, isn't the reefer illegal in Canada? Why are you moving to the United States? A place with more room for microwaves. <laughs> Let's get ourselves a cup of milk here. That's what I thought. It's 100% legal here. Uh, there. It's 100% legal in Colorado as well. Um, but why do you want to move to the Americas? Un momento. Front door. Oh. <laughs> I was very upset when I couldn't find any. Like, I actually can't substitute. It's for you can't really substitute. Powder? Yeah. He's in the... But you can't substitute powder or minced. Nice. So we have some homemade beer tonight. It's fucking mess. I'm just trying to find it. I cleaned some of it out when I used ingredients this week, but. Uh, 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 <laughs> that he probably won't drink. No, he actually really doesn't. Uh, much like me, I'm not a huge beer fan, but there are things that I enjoy enough to go through it. Put this in the right spot because. Cover the cover at the time. Uh, get a new. I was talking to them. Uh, hey, what's up, Spidey? <laughs> Clean slate, fair, fair, definitely fair. Here, oh, let's uh, because if we cl uh, stand super close to the counter, make sure to lift it up. 
So it doesn't cut our heads off, basically. <laughs> So you're looking at moving to Colorado for a clean slate. <laughs> well, no, she has legal weed where she lives. Yeah. I was born in Denver, so... I technically have a roommate. Doesn't mean I can't kick him out. But I don't live in Colorado. So... <laughs> I actually live much further away. So I brought dark brown to Oh, I, I pretty much prefer, massively prefer dark brown. So we're going to start off microwaving our milk. That sounds weird, but we're bringing it to temp and i boiling it. What are we making? We're starting off with cinnamon rolls. Nice. Yes. So we're going to start the day with cinnamon rolls. That's what the brown sugar was needed for. Definitely. Uh, because I can't, you can't really fake it. You can't. I mean, technically you could put white sugar and molasses in a food process. Yes, but I also don't have molasses. So, <laughs> multiple stacking variables, you know, so yeah. The framing on the current, uh, current camera is too high. Well, that, that's not the work... Oh, yeah, that's because this isn't the cutting board. Uh, remember? That, that's not the work surface camera. This is the work surface camera. Sakurag, if you consistently watched, mind you, this will get moved out of the way, and you'll actually get to see work surface ca uh, camera. Hands. Hands. Very babishy. Yeah. Binging. So. Except our voices are not as. Of course, <laughs> of course. But yeah, so when we get to cutting, we will actually, you'll get more cutting board. You'll get to see that. We do, tr we transitions here. We if, if you simul stream on my thing, it's just the one. <laughs> oh, okay. You mean all the way up here. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. Yes. You're very right about that. Let's... Luke, stand in my spot. Gotcha. I don't know how I managed to do that. Normally. Yeah. That. You mean that. Okay. That makes sense. I thought you were meaning you want to... Oh, wow, yeah. I don't know how I managed to do that. Because I normally... But thank you for being camera crew there. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's right. That's how you hiss at a cat. <laughs> Devil Spidey, nobody tells you to shut up. I have heard your voice. Nobody tells you to shut up. Also, I need to keep uh, I need to keep watching your stream if you're doing your writing stream because I kind of wanted to know where that story was going. <laughs> Oh, oh, also, what my mother. Nice. Set of plates and poles on top of what we already have. Do we have. That would... No, I've yet to fix that problem, but I do now have hugs. <laughs> All right, so we're going to pull this out and. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was just, we can I was straight, out, straight out of the bottle, but it's uh, that's most of what beer is. Not <laughs> if you pour it into a pint glass. All right, so we're just looking to melt this butter here, Honestly, and we're also if you just left. Well, we're looking to melt it, but we're also looking to get our milk above 120 degrees. And it's not even close right now. But, yeah, we're looking to get our uh, milk 100, uh, above 120 degrees because yeast. Honestly, not right now. Well, 120 would be actually be a little high for yeast. 
Well, we want to get it to a, uh, above 120 and then finish letting this melt. It'll come down. Uh, it'll come down temp by the time this is done melting. Yeah, because uh, yeast starts dying at like 100. Yeah. So uh, by the time this is done, we should be at about. Uh, we should be at about 110. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, between 100 and 110 by the time this is done melting. That's our goal. Dude, what's up? Oh my god. Ugh. So, did you ever? Uh, did you get to finish your semester? <laughs> your internet's been broken. Called your ISP several times, but next month I may get a new one. Yeah, I mean, I, I would. No, I mean, if you're having that kind of issue, wait. Oh, I mean, okay. Did you make sure your parents knew you were, uh, we were going? I told them every Thursday last week. Well, I mean, you gotta still post your going live and stuff like that on your Instagram and your Facebook. I don't have an Instagram. <laughs> okay, well, you're gonna need to change that because you do beer and stuff. You have <laughs> an Instagram to post pictures of your fermentation process, man. Am I wrong? Am I wrong here, guys? <laughs> so in two days, you get to graduate. That is actually awesome. All right, so let's test if my theory was correct here. Temperature. Oh no, we're still a little high. Damn. Okay, we'll need to wait a little. Uh, we'll need to let this w uh, settle for just a minute here, because it is a little high. Can I grab out an egg? Right. Matt always makes fun of me for getting so many eggs. And then they all just basically I just start using them. I'll go from way too many eggs to none at all very quickly. Very quickly. Um are you so are you gonna use yolks, yeah? Huh? You mostly yolks for cinnamon roll? Yes. So we're gonna use mostly or roll two. Sorry, I grabbed only one because the face from the beer started falling in. Um I think I have I have one egg on there, but that's because I'm copying someone's recipe. I don't like that idea. I think two with just yolks is probably the best. You know what I mean? So it doesn't rise too much. Well, as long as, if you don't have uh, the whites in there, the fries is all going to be. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You don't want extra from uh, outside of that. Okay. Yes. All right. All right. So this is. I know you have one clear glass because I want to pour it pour it out. Too. All right, we are dropping temperature rapidly now. Awesome, we are good. So that should bring us eh, probably about five minutes before that temperature is down where it should be. So that gives us time to br uh, bust out our mixing machine. Put it all together. Oh, I got a, a new thing of salt as well. So that yeah, very low. I was running very, very low last time hey, he was here. All right, Matt, I'm going to get clear glass. Uh, did you check the dishwasher? It's not in there. You're not talking about the Coke, uh, Coke thing, right? I... Oh. That or there's that, of course. But I, I just had random stuff soaking in it for now. People wouldn't. Of course, of course. Yeah, this, this, that beer was from a kit, so I can't take, like, really any credit, but... You know, whatever. 
I did the uh, not likely that process. you're getting ignored. Most likely what's happening is he's just not paying much attention to chat. He's just hearing the voices. Oh, is that what I look like? <laughs> Glad I had some distance on my camera. That way you guys don't have to look right at this. <laughs> <laughs> you were referring to me. How was I ignoring you? I don't know. What'd you say? How irritating is my voice, right? What? Um, no. Be honest. See, I've only heard your voice like twice. Not irritating at all from what I remember. I was Are you talking amazing. about the whole getting married thing? I already knew that. You already talked to me about Well, I didn't know you were getting married that soon. I just knew you were on your way. You were like right behind me when I turned around. Um, Very sneaky, sir. <laughs> he says as he clean. Um. So we've got that all set up. Now we want a separate bowl. Anything I could be doing. Um, okay, so actually, well, you know how to make I uh, the icing, right? You know how to make Okay, awesome, because we've done icing on stream. Don't really need you it. got cream cheese? I don't have cream cheese. I'd rather just do traditional icing. Fair enough. <laughs> I feel like that's a to each their own kind of thing, and my own is not much caring. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, he's thing is, you guys are hearing him go. Mm -hmm, yep. Mm -hmm, yep. He's this is a super disapproving. He's like <laughs> you uncultured swine. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> I'm like, Whatever. It's your recipe. <laughs> Fuck it up if you want. <laughs> no, I'm just not a, on this on cinnamon rolls. I just prefer very sugary sweet. I see. Um, now, although I also don't think I have cream cheese anyway, I did oh, damn it. <laughs> camera down, camera down. Oh, whenever I'm in Discord, you're always allowed to join in. Like, we just hang out in Discord. Except D&D. Except D&D, but that shit won't hit. People can't see us when we're in D&D. But, if but we're mostly so it, people can't pop in you and can join. watch, but yeah. we're, we're not going to answer you because we're concentrating. Correct. That's later tonight. No, you see a... Um, this thing. Now that is uh, something about Gumby's Pizza. I don't know. It's a pizza place that Matt's parents bought him pizzas from. We have them in the freezer. Personally, prefer whole milk over any other milk. I like skim in my coffee. I don't like the mouth full of whole milk. Yeah. But we're gonna have more icing.
Vanilla extract, yes. Same spot as always. Cabinet up here. There we go. All right, you were saying then you were talking about Sakuragi, the angle is much better. I need to get you something for the wall above the, oh, you mean like that? Oh, okay, I get you. Sorry, missing. Uh, I'm mixing communication here and totally, yeah. Uh, well, see, if you're, if you're getting engaged and then it's not the person in Colorado, that just sounds like a horrible idea to me. Then again, I don't really care that much these days. I don't really, it's a whole delve that I'm not really in the mood to get into, but it doesn't really mean much to me at this point. Yes, like a blackboard or a recipe book, you're right. Yeah, like something that says what I've got going on. But I feel like it would be better once lighting is better. I feel like it, that would be better to do once lighting, uh, once the lighting is better and it's easier to read it and stuff like that. See? <laughs> you got it. Just had to stop grabbing it by the bottom of the top and actually grabbing the top of the top. Yes, we all need to get back into D&D, &D, which is why I got back into D&D. Because &D. it's just awesome. <laughs> all right, so now that your milk is at temp, Let's go ahead and get that all mixed up with your yeast. But yeah, like a blackboard would be kind of cool. Um, what I kind of really wanted to do was actually put the bookshelf up top and then have various things down here. That was kind of what I wanted to do, but at the same time, it's a little more difficult to actually put a shelf up there than it is just to temporarily have like a blackboard or something. You know, saying what we're cooking for the day. I don't know, something. Okay. So that is gonna go for about, what, five to 10 minutes? Before you put it into the actual dry uh, dry ingredients. Yeah, that's a good bloom. You don't necessarily even need to. Our yeast. <laughs> We're gonna do it anyway. But it is a good way to make sure your yeast isn't dead. Yeah, a blackboard or a dry erase board, something like that. I think I think I would like the look more of a blackboard. Very right, but the thing is, truck desk wouldn't be a problem. I write it down. And... I would just have to set it up before stream. Be. You're not wrong. I definitely think that would probably look better. Um, that would probably look better than having the recipe over there. For now, I have the recipe over here, and there are potential other solutions. And that is one of them. Another one was somebody suggested putting it on the fridge. Um, but, you know, like I said, for now, that is my temporary solution to being able to quickly uh, change uh, the recipe around. Oh, you're the one who suggested? Okay, yeah, I wasn't sure if it was you or my mother. I couldn't remember which one of you guys did that. But at the same time, uh, you know, and that would actually, basically, I would change the camera angle over here and show it more on the fridge. You're right there, for sure. And I guess, actually, technically, that would work for loops as well, because whenever I step out of the way, it would be the recipe. Donata, are you uh, intrigued? If you see them on the uh, tabletop, definitely push them. Food and drink, that's your favorite game? Valid. Definitely solid. Three ingredients. Yeah, pretty much. Milk, powdered sugar, extract. I don't even really count. 
Yeah. Um, and yeah, no, I just don't have function. But don't do what I did. I put too much milk in there initially, and now I have like half a bowl of icing, which is way more than we need. Fine. Brown your food in icing, that's all. And then, uh... Well, if you do do that, you just need to add more powdered sugar to do -do. consistency. Doo-doo. Doo-doo. <laughs> because <laughs> apparently we're four. We are four. We play games with dinosaurs in them. Of course we're four. I totally looked at that game, by the way, and I just got to buy it. Right. I was just waiting until I got paid again. Dinosaurs are the coolest. I'm talking about the aisle, which I'm trying to get him to start playing. I just gotta... I mean, you know, we'll play it religiously or anything, but I'll play it a bit. When you get in, and I'm on aisle nation it. number one, and right now I... Nice. Which is the only way we can actually group, other than finding each other and walking around, um, is yeah. the same species. On that server, there can only be two adults in a group. Oh. Oh gosh. Yay! What's up? What'd it do? Oh, you know. Do right. its own thing. So. <laughs> and yeah, no, we're talking, uh, in case you're, uh, ta uh, Sakuragi, in case you're talking to us, we're talking about a game called The Isle. And if you're talking to Greed, Greed is talking about food and drink. Which, we have a homemade beer that we're gonna try tonight. Is it the first time you've done it? This type of beer. Yeah, yeah, this specific beer. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so it'll be the first time we're trying this specific beer, which will be fun. I, I, I made a stout before, but Gosh. mostly I make mead. Yeah. So that'll be nice. We're going to try that out tonight along with the, uh, the pork. And... So... That is... Gotta make them slits so just... Yes. Cups. Yep, yep, yep. And we'll take care of that once we get there. Uh... Because oh, uh, right now we're, we're making cinnamon rolls. Jake. Yes, we're uh, starting off with cinnamon rolls tonight. And then we're going to make some pork chops with... Potato? Or... No, no, we're going to do sweet and sour pe uh, peppers. Sweet and sour peppers. Uh, on me here. Crack on the egg. <laughs> no, no, it was just a weird crack on the egg. Do the other one. Break off. There we go. Yep. I did actually. Totally. Uh, I was showing that off just before you got in. I literally had turned around and put it back up in the cabinet nice. right when you t uh, you came in here. Uh, it was actually pretty awesome. So, here, it's up here. It's just a little digital scale, nothing special. Nice. Um, I mean, as long as it works accurate and up to 11 pounds, I don't think we'll ever do anything more than 11 pounds. So... <laughs> Pork chops are so easy. So easy. I don't know what you mean by difficult. You want this for anything? Unless you want to make meringues or something. I need one egg meringue. <laughs> well, it would be a two. It would be two egg meringue. Well, two one egg meringues. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> two one egg meringue. <laughs> uh, so at some point though, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have the Gilfer come on here and oh sh. No, you just lost egg on us. See, and this is why we uh, I was making sure to... I also had a weird break. Look how no, little... you're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's why you saw me fiddle with the egg so heavily. is because I saw it and I felt the break. But the I'm break so much more experienced with egg breaks. I think I just caught mine a little faster than you did. Get, get off the table. You're not allowed on the table when it's got a tablecloth on it. <laughs> there you go. New egg. Egg. Take two. Oh, no, sorry. Hold on. Take two. <laughs> I'll go ahead and get rid of that. But as uh, I will say, what we're doing, I we're might doing... just do it the cheat way, so I don't, I don't uh, break another egg. No, do it. Go. 
I've got like 24 eggs in there. Just don't break 23 eggs. Ooh, he's got an Instagram. Uh, he sent us an Instagram picture of the uh, of his cinnamon rolls that he did. Um, you should let him. Uh, you should give him the Discord so he can share his food. Yeah, should do Then Turn this on. I've made cinnamon rolls from scratch twice from Alton Brown's recipe. Real good. Jake, you didn't reply to my text. What are we doing for your birthday, bro? You and him. I'll probably be at work. If he ever even wanted me there. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, this is an Alton Brown's recipe. Me. He was talking about a whole different recipe. Yeah, when, when I did cinnamon rolls, it was Alton Brown's recipe. I think it was a much bigger batch than this. Because it was, it was like two whole eggs and two egg yolks. Like Instagram. Oh, damn. Oh, I see how it is over there. You're getting fancy on you. I mean, you don't trust them? I don't trust them either, to be honest. Uh, he's been. Um, you know, out of work because of the pandemic thing. Oh, yeah. And he has been baking a lot, and no. and he sells them and donates them proceeds to the food bank. Awesome! He's, That's amazing. He's a good dude, man. A good dude, man. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not making fun of uh, Jake at all. I promise. No, you're making fun of me. Correct. <laughs> Correct. No. Jake, that is awesome. That is absolutely awesome. Let me send. What, Jake, what's your Discord? I don't even have you on Discord. Alright, so this is what we were referring to. We're going to we're gonna want to add a little bit more flour here. Yeah, it's too, uh, too cake battery. <laughs> yeah. Which is all good. That is why the recipe says up to three and a half cups of flour. I generally don't trust uh, any any baking recipe that calls for flour that uses volume. Yeah, I'm gonna start. Humidity changes it so much. See, and that's the thing is, I'm gonna start learning how to um, differentiate between them because that's not something I know how to do. Lake Gasher number and sixty. All right. I don't know how to do this on top of the mobile app. <laughs> what? Share Discord. Oh. um... If he, if he was in my Discord, or in my channel, all he has to do is type exclamation point Discord, and he would get oh. my Discord immediately. Okay. Go to twitch.tv slash A-K-A-M-O-O-R. That's his channel. Yeah. And you don't have to stay there. Just pop in there for a second. Get the Discord. Get my Discord, and then so you can share pictures, because I absolutely love pictures of food and you know, uh, baking and all that stuff. All right, so we're probably needing. Do you think we need just a little bit more? Yeah, we probably need. Yeah, it needs to come together and then like yeah, a ball come off the wall. Yeah, it's not quite. You could also get scrape some some off the side a little bit. I mean, that's gonna make much of a difference though. No, but it will make a difference. Let's just go ahead and kill that for a second here. Yeah. Get it off the bottom. See, and like I was saying, though, baking is the thing I am absolutely the least experienced in. So, this is something that definitely, definitely need, I definitely need more practice in, a bit more reading up on. Yeah, I did a lot of baking in... Baking? Yeah, You like do a, do a step, take like 20 minutes, and you have to wait like an hour. <laughs> and so I was studying during the an hour period. <laughs> nice. Say hi to Lake Jasher. He, he is my little brother. Yes. Well, younger brother. He's like a foot taller than me. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Hofer 
her jeans. Takes after my mom's side of the family. They're all gigantic. Mom's not gigantic. No, but all the men are. Hey, he's substantially taller than both your brothers, isn't uh, Both you and your brother, aren't Yeah, you? my older brother's like like a half inch shorter than me. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I don't think he's on, so I don't mind saying that. <laughs> I mean, my brothers are shorter than me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're both the middle kid, which is which tells you that that whole you know middle kid younger. Personalities are. <laughs> yeah, very much so. And you're also the you know I will say you're also a middle kid of brothers, and I have sisters involved, and there's five of us. But you're you're also the middle brother. Yeah, just straight up in the middle. Yeah, yeah. Your family has almost the exact same spread as my my dad's family. If, if Coulter and Dorian were switched, they would have the exact same spread. <laughs> nice. Like, oldest son, second oldest daughter, middle son, next daughter. There's not one that come together. My, my dad would, would be the Jared of yeah. <laughs> his family. Only there nice. was a bigger spread between him and the next one up. <laughs> oh, then, yeah, I forget Elizabeth is so much. I always forget Elizabeth is so much younger than me. Yeah. So the spread between you and Elizabeth is the spread between my dad and his next oldest sibling, approximately. We're almost done flowering here. It's just being a dickweed and not quite wanting to uh, to uh, settle here. No, that's looking good. It just needs to be. You know? Yeah. Weed. It was just a little bit long. It was just need a little bit more flower though, because it was still looking a little too a little too glossy. So, while that goes, we now want to take and throw our cinnamon sugar mixture together. I don't actually know why I have that. Alright. This is a little old. Beat that shit out of it. Basically. You're adopted by two families and the oldest of all your siblings. Well, there, there is a fourth Lasher brother sort of adopted. <laughs> like he moved, he, he moved, he moved out to Tennessee from California after he graduated high school to follow us. Yeah. His Aaron, you've met him. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Well, that uses basically the rest of my cinnamon. I'm going to need to get more cinnamon here. Did I tell you my dad is now officially retired? No, you did not. Yeah. Congratulations to him. That is awesome. I knew that he stayed on to help. Uh, he stayed on for the month of April to help yeah. with the, uh, the COVID thing. But then after that, it's like, sorry. May, I gotta... May 1st, I'm down. Yeah. I'm the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah. So, which is fair. It's fair. Where did I... Did I accidentally leave it in that? No, I just set it up. Uh, gotcha. Yeah. Broken up. Thank you. I love the smell of dark brown sugar. Very much so. Well, maybe it is a little sticky. That's what I was thinking. It's just a little. Uh, it keeps. It's just it, a little. Like, too it much. keeps absorbing all everything we put in and then becoming sticky again. It's. Uh, yeah, yeah. It feels like it's too much. Uh, too sticky. Yeah. Just a little bit though. I don't, wouldn't add much. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this sugar mixed up, and I'll let you add that for me. Because I have the entire sugar. <laughs> er, not sugar. Uh, oh my god. Cinnamon rolls. Yes. My brain is not working, firing on all cylinders. Hey, you had a chiropractor's meeting today. Or appointment, sorry. Today. And they cracked his back a little too much at all. Uh, no, it's. I, okay, my Monday shift, uh, 7 p.m. to 8 a.m. Yeah. Um, I did not sleep during the day Monday. Oof, nice. 
So there you are. I what, went through a 13 hour shift on about 24 hours of no sleep. Nice. And then I haven't been able to catch up since then. <laughs> Makes sense. Luckily, I didn't have to do any major surgery on that whole week. Yes. Okay. It was uh, busy nights, but like mostly outpatient busy nights. Busy night. The thing with uh, with flour and adding a little, yeah, I want to add as little as possible at a time because you can always add more flour. It's a heck of a lot harder to add more liquid. Because you're gonna technically gonna save the yolks just in case, or the uh, I mean the whites just in case. Yeah. But I'm just See, it, mixing got, it looked up. like it was gonna get dry, and then it's mixing through, and it's starting to get sticky again. It's not nearly as bad though. It does look like it's almost done. See how it's only kind of separating a little bit now? Yeah. Now it definitely only has a little bit, a very, very t a small touch here. And this is why you don't want uh, volumetric measurements on your flour. Not wrong. But like I said, this is something I will study up on over the next, uh, over the coming weeks and get better about. It becomes a little difficult to study when you're at work six days a week, and then doing this, the other one. I think we're good. Awesome! So we want to go ahead and pull that out, and get that in a bowl, and cover that bowl. Like, it's still a little bit sticky, but you don't want it any drier than this. Yeah. Oh yeah, see that feels a lot better. <laughs> Awkward! Alright, I do use one of those rags to... I was gonna <laughs> suggest. Um, uh, yeah. So at this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start actually working on the dinner. Um, this is gonna be our cinnamon, sh uh, cinnamon sugar mixture for filling itself. And some icing for the top. Our sugar icing for the top. And we need some uh, melted butter for the filling as well. But we have plenty of butter. Yes, so. but we got plenty of butter. So I didn't, I'm not gonna add that just yet. Gonna set that off to the side here. We're gonna clean down our station. Uh, <laughs> huh? A dryer is kind of a fire hazard. For now, but that fire, the fire is still black, black. It's gone tomorrow. It's gone tonight. Uh, take it down to the disposal unit tonight. Or I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if Matt will help me with it tonight. That way, it gets out of the way. That way, we can keep our lovely table over here instead. Doesn't that actually look nice? It does. I actually really like the look of that. And then I've got my entire living room back. Feels a lot more open. Yes, it feels a lot less clustered. It cluttered, cluttered. Uh, and it feels nice. So we're gonna start off with our onions. I am very excited for the uh, for the cinnamon rolls. I will uh, say more grandma. Uh, the dough can snap the wooden spoon in half. Do what? <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh my god. So we're gonna clean our peppers here, and we're gonna try and avoid as much of that white bitter inside as we can, and avoiding called the ribs, the ribs, <laughs> and avoid getting that bitter flavor from the ribs and the seeds. In other peppers, that's what it's. The... And you can avoid them. If... 
pussy. <laughs> well, I don't avoid them in any spicy peppers. But you don't want the that bitter flavor from your sweet red on, uh, red pepper here. So, this one has four little bumps on the bottom. That's a female. And the ones with three are a male. I am very excited for these cinnamon rolls, though, Graham. They, they sound amazing. <laughs> I agreed. What do you say? He's leaving to go get food in the. Oh, I mean, fair. <laughs> so we have some rib on this. About as close as you can to the pepper. Do you want to save as much meat as possible? Just get that white off the pepper. Uh, off the pepper. Should be good. Now we're just gonna do eh, a little larger than ship knot here. Ha ha! Don't be a child. <laughs> <laughs> An adult stream. Yeah, it's an adult stream. Don't be a child. <laughs> I feel like that's the appropriate way to say it too. Yeah. Cute. Oh yeah. So this knife, I spent thirty-ish minutes trying to fix some nicks that are in it. Mm -hmm. They're almost entirely gone. There's a tiny. I saw earlier. There's a tiny one at the very. Top. But I will work on that. No, this is not appropriate cutting technique. I just feel like doing it. If somebody actually saw me doing that, they'd probably flip out on me. You're also not using it. Ah, nobody freaks out on people for not using a cut glove. Nobody in a restaurant, or most people in a restaurant, do not use cut gloves. I will tell you that now. Most people in restaurants absolutely do not use cut gloves. OSHA would have something to say about it. OSHA would have something to say about it. Oh, thank you for the follow there, Lasher. <laughs> How you been? Uh, that is awesome, though, Jake. And I hope you enjoy your video games. Uh, who is the one who actually went to Greed? Yeah, I figured him. He's always playing video games. He is literally always on some kind of game. And I, I swear he doesn't actually work. Jake! Jake. And what you saw there, Jake, I'm, that's I'm, actually what I do for a living. Uh, I'm off the whole week of his birthday, and he still hasn't responded with what he wants to do. Oh, come on, Jake. I have, I have literally gallons of homemade booze at my house. We can have, just have a bonfire at my place. That would actually be pretty awesome. You and the brothers just enjoying a nice bonfire? He hasn't responded either. Sounds oh, like... shut up, Hank. Did Hank just get here? Hank's on, yeah. Nice. What's up, Hank? What was he saying? Well, he's on, he's on my... Oh, yeah. yeah. What's up, Hank? <laughs> he can still hear me. Yeah. <laughs> I just point the knife in a different direction, you know? Depending on who I'm talking to. Right? Yes. <laughs> oh. Drop a follow, Hank. Yes. Give your brother a follow over here. And follow Garrett, too. You can follow him if you like. He's, he's a much better streamer than I am. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm just more consistent. I don't necessarily think I'm that much better. You're way better. You talk a lot more than I do. That's not true. You talk quite a bit, my good sir. <laughs> I don't think you understand how much you actually talk. Um, oh, shit. My internet. Your internet's down. How the... My Wi-Fi is still up, right? Uh, connected, no internet security. Who are you connected to? You. Uh, disconnect and reconnect there. See, uh, see what it says when you do that. Yep. That was weird. That was weird. But you're back. Right? You're back online? Yep. Yes. Uh, no, disconnecting, reconnecting, 
It's attempt four. Do an auto uh, auto attempt for a. Uh, Get the staff and restart it. That seemed to work. For some reason, my laptop disconnected from his Wi-Fi. No idea. Uh, DoorDash and Postmates? Postmates, I've heard, is actually phenomenal for income. Zero viewers. <laughs> for now. I guess Hank locked off. Locked off. When you disconnected, it probably just uh, disconnected him for a minute. And this is why I'm going to need a new pot, uh, pan, though, because I don't know how well this is going to go with the pan. Oh, I might just have to use my instead of using a, the non. Yeah. Might have to just go full size here. So let us double check. I didn't even think about Hot dogs or Catch that. Honestly, I probably just need to put this thing away. I'll just use the full size uh, copper bottom skillet. What? Apparently, it's uh, Twitch is saying. Did he refresh? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and bring our panda uh, panda temp. All right, see you in a bit. Yeah, we're gonna bring our panda temp. Should have done that here a minute ago. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Definitely should have done that a minute ago. I apologize, guys. Um, but all right. Going to go ahead. Then we're going to get our basil cut up here just so it's already done before we uh, get to that point. Okay. Got the basil up? Yeah, I was gonna say, definitely, you can definitely do. Just yeah. make sure to wipe down the, uh, the towel so that your basil doesn't stick. Avoid pressing your basil too, uh, press, pressing the Ah, uh, rough chopped. Definitely rough chopped. Huh? Fancy. <laughs> no, no, it's going to go rough chop so that the, um, it sticks out and is more prominent in the peppers and onions mixture. He I normally have more stuff for him to do. I apologize for not having much for him to do today. This is why I honestly need to get more better, uh, more better. I need to get more better, guys, about collaborating with Luke. <laughs> I need to get better about uh, collaborating with you on this stuff. A decent handful of it, actually. Yeah, like three times what you've got there. Alrighty. That's why I got a big container in it. That and I want to try and make um, some pasta sauce uh, this week. But I want to go like pure from scratch and actually get the tomatoes and shit and cook them down and stuff. I... Canned tomatoes. If they're high quality, whole, whole canned tomatoes. Oh yeah. While I don't doubt that they're quite good, I just want to. I want to do it myself for once. I've never done it, so yeah. It's, like I said, it's it's, it's a, a lot of stuff that I want to learn how to do. <laughs> There's a, you know a lot of stuff when it comes down to cooking that I want to learn how to do because like it was a discussion we were having just before you came in. How more? Uh, a little bit more. How you know how every week we kind of do something new, mm -hmm. something I haven't cooked before. And it's intentional. It is intentional that I, I try and bust stuff out that I haven't done before. That should be good. Um, I try to do stuff that I haven't really done before. And um, 
That way, you know, I actually expand my library of cooking. While at the same time, not always putting out the exact same food. Because if, if I wanted to, yeah, I could just go ahead and do Asian food all, all day. I can't wait to see these cinnamon rolls either. Literally the only reason we're using this knife tonight is because I, uh, because I sharpened it. <laughs> I actually think I need to flatten the blade too though. That should be good. There are some like leaves still left. Gotcha. Release okay. them oils. Not too much though. Not onto the uh, the board, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good. But yeah, basically, I need. I think I need to flatten the blade out itself. I think there's a curve. Maybe I'm being paranoid, but I think. There's in the blade. I mean, no, no, no. It looks like it's. There is a bit of a wobble. It like, but it's not a. It's also not a high quality blade. <laughs> it's one that was just sitting in my drawer, and I got curious to see if I could re if I could <laughs> fix it. Yes, I actually would love that. No, like more traditional Asian cooking. You you missed us do a fairly poor ramen <laughs> a couple weeks ago. It was an udon soup. Udon, more, more like udon soup, you're right. Uh, but it wasn't bad, it just... It wasn't ramen. No, it wasn't ramen. It was a failed attempt at a ramen. <laughs> There are there have been a couple recipes that we've done that have been me make uh, me myself writing out of uh, writing out like the Salisbury steak that was me mm -hmm. um, the spinach chicken that was me you weren't here for that mm -hmm. that was the first episode that was supposed to happen that didn't happen because of technical difficulties ah uh, that one was sad no we did not make the udon by hand no we don't, I don't have a thing for it. I don't have a a roller for it he needs an attachment for this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we got it. We did. You did get it from an Asian market, though. Yes, it is from an Asian market. I have an Asian market just up the road. Me too, but in Murfreesboro. <laughs> All right. That smells like it's getting a temp here. Didn't drop that. It might have heated up a bit too much, actually. <laughs> um, stove cam. I don't even know if I have the right angle. Got a uh, cam three. Ah, that's pretty close. Pretty good for eyeballing it after I knocked it off. <laughs> yeah. Let's we get. But no, we did not make this, uh, the udon by hand. That would be a little much. <laughs> that would be crazy. That would be awesome to be able to pull. Hello, kitty cats. Alright. Oh. I need my olive oil. And his mom could send us. That would actually be phenomenal. That would be Dude, that would be so much fun. Oh, wow. I mean, I've already got some recipes that are being sent to me by uh, Spidey. Yeah. The, he sent me some stuff the other day that I, I didn't feel comfortable making it today. I can get my mom's red jeans and rice. That's a bit too hot. There's also a reason you're supposed to use a curve to kill it on this. Well, what? 
I'm gonna open the uh the door. <laughs> So you want to add a bit of salt? Nice. Okay. I'm gonna add a bit of salt, black pepper, and a bit of sugar to this. And don't have the heat as high as I put it. <laughs> yeah. I was just trying to warm it up faster and then we were planning to turn it back down, but then I got distracted. <laughs> have the one camera so if you want to watch what's going on right now and you're on my channel you can switch to Aquamore. <laughs> he is uh, sauteing uh, red onions and uh, bell peppers. You need to like mince up the garlic or anything? Actually no the garlic isn't gonna get minced it's just gonna get crushed and thrown in there. Alrighty I can do that. How many? Uh, three or four cloves. Alright, we're gonna turn that heat up actually just a little bit. Alright, so now you've got your oil, uh, onions and peppers cooked down. We're gonna go ahead and add your red wine vinegar. Don't be afraid to be generous here with this. Yeah, vinegar doesn't get a lot of a love, really, but it's a fantastic ingredient. This is very easy to get put way too much in something. I've dealt it worse. Substantially worse, actually. That's also why this isn't the right kind of pan for this. That's why I really want to be all to the curve. That doesn't bounce back. Not totally my fault. Yeah, no. Only partially. I don't have the right equipment either. Which I should have bought today. But you thought you had that pan available. Did not. Yeah. Woody. Ends off. Oh, this does not flip well at all. It's very difficult to do what I'm doing over here with this. So you just gotta use the spoon, I guess. <laughs> Well, the thing is, the spoon doesn't solve all of your problems. Flipping it actually gives you a whole different uh, aspect of it. It removes everything and rearranges it all in a different way. And you can actually kind of control the, the way it flips a lot better. But now, I want to add a little bit of olive oil to it. Let it stew there. Garlic? This doesn't go in. The garlic doesn't go in here. Really? Nope. I'm going to let this stew for about mm, two or three minutes. Probably a little less 
since uh, the heat we had it on at the very beginning of all of this. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, actually, what Americans think of as Chinese food was food invented in America by Chinese immigrants because they didn't think Americans would like actual Chinese food. Like all of it. This is why it's important to be able to flip them properly, is so that you get a good mixture on them. I'll clean stuff out on the Well, and they'll soften up at an even pace. Yeah. Because if some soften and others do not, run into an issue where they don't move correctly. But it's the pan's fault. Going into a bowl on the side. Yep. And this is also one of the reasons why you want Teflon instead. Because I would like to be able to just wipe this out uh. without having to wash it down. But I do have to wash it down, so get hot water. Uh, I come, now we're gonna come back over here for a minute anyway. Oh, son of a bitch. There's restaurants in China where you can try American ice cream nope. food and orange chicken. I'm an idiot. Yeah. What? The basil. I need the basil. Oh. <laughs> Literally, my... Just burn on my finger. Fucking with me, man. I was trying to get it off the heat as much as fast as I could. We're going to go ahead and toss in that basil. That was a, almost a pretty big mistake. Tossing that basil just at the end here. Go toss it at the end here so you don't overcook the basil. Yeah, you just want to wilt it a little bit. Then, then put it into the bowl. Mm -hmm. Run your uh, burn under some cold water. You don't want to burn, uh, put burn under cold water. You want to put it under room temp. By cold water, I mean what comes out of the tap without being heated. Yeah. This is where it's at right now. It takes a minute. Just water. Uh, my water. Fine. What I built is substantially worse. Now, I'm not going to bulge a steel pan, but I also don't want to risk it because it's the only one I've got. So I don't want it on. I'm just making sure it's not cold, cold water going in there. Just because I'm being hyper paranoid with my equipment. Yep. I'm sure you can understand that. Someone's at your dump. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I actually left them on the balcony now, by the way. They don't jump out at all. They, like, they don't even care. They literally just sit there and watch whatever's happening. Bye, Jake. He's leaving. All right. Have a good night, Jake. Now, we're bringing it to medium temperature this time. <laughs> Yeah, get out our chops here.
Everyone say bye to my brother. <laughs> Almost the wrong side. Oh yeah, that would have embar uh, been embarrassing. What GPU did you end up getting? Me? Yeah. Um, 5700RX, I think. Ready on Sapphire. Make sure this works. Huh? That's fancy. Very. Course grind. I mean, you a little more pepper on there, no problem. Kind of punch it in there. That way it sticks. Do that on both sides. Pepper coins. Otherwise, how can it be stick up above? <laughs> See, one of these uh, days we're gonna have to do steak up well. Oh, most definitely. Need brandy, heavy cream, and <laughs> pestle, a mortar and pestle to get the correct grind on our pepper. <laughs> Just punching the shit out of this. So, but before we put these on here, you know how to do it. You know how to cut them up. We're gonna uh, we're gonna want to clip the rind on here, that fatty edge. You're gonna want to put two nice incisions, at least two to three, depending on how it curves and how big it is in your rind. Don't cut that deep. <laughs> There we are. And that way, when you uh, put it in the pan, it won't curl up uh, like a meat cup. Get a good sear on the whole surface. Yes. Right, we're growing. Uh, Your yeast is alive. Woohoo! Alive with the sound of music. Sorry. Go ahead and switch it over to Stoke. Stoke AM. We should really get a like, dual stream. Yes, we can work on uh, We gotta work on that. I gotta figure out how exactly the best way to do that is. So, you always wanna make sure to set your uh, protein down away from you. That way you avoid any kind of splash towards your body or your hands. Like he had earlier. <laughs> and that, that was because of the uh, pan itself, which is no big deal. I deal with uh, well, way worse than that on the wall. Um, and got some fresh garlic in time. That will infuse in the oil and get all it into the meats as we sear.
again. Oh god. That uh, smells so good. Yeah, it does. Oh, the time in the garden. Getting all hot and steamy. Now in my nostrils. <laughs> Probably need just a touch more oil in here. Not too much though, because we're gonna be putting butter in here. Of course, after the first flip. Probably have another 30 seconds to a minute left on this cook. On this side. So you got a pan sear and fish in the oven, or? Huh? You got a pan sear and fish in the oven, or? No. Yeah. That's why we're cooking it so long on each side. Ah. So we're gonna cook it so long, oh, we're gonna cook it three to four minutes on one side, then three to four minutes on the other, while also basting it with the, uh, the butter, the buttery oil. That is infused yeah. with garlic and thyme. Yes. I, on a steak, I also like some rosemary in there, but thyme is, uh, perfect for... <laughs> What's up, Thanatos? Yes, <laughs> it is definitely allowed. The thing is, you just have to disguise it as food and drink. So, food porn is allowed. <laughs> Alright, so, you actually... So, at this point, you're going to start seeing when it's starting to actually get up to temp, because the bone is going to start bleeding. Right here, Luke? Yes. Fun fact, not actually blood. I know, but... It's what it looks like, so it's referred to as bleeding. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> biologically, it's myoglobin. Myoglobin. What is myoglobin? Myoglobin is you know you know how hemoglobin is the oxygen carrying molecule in blood. Yeah, it's similar to that, but it's in muscle tissue. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So there is a difference between them two. Yes. It's in the uh, that protein structure. Gotcha, okay, okay. And because myo. You're gonna take a glance at these? Ooh. Myo means uh, muscle, and globin is a type of protein. See the look on that? I will admit my cup is a little nicer than yours. <laughs> yours curled up a little bit, mine hasn't at all. <laughs> It's not like this is my job or anything. We're actually going to use a decent amount of butter here. About four tablespoons. You're going to think, oh, that's too much butter, but you're wrong. <laughs> you're very much so wrong if you think this is too much butter. This is my cheat day everyone's cheat day. Everybody gets to watch this stream and get a nice cheat day in. So at this point, I need to... So we're gonna be basting this so we get actually you probably have a little more butter because this pan's a little smaller than the one I wanted to use. But we should be fine for now. Because it's gonna help cook that pork uh, that pork there on the on that top side and, it and a few infuse so much moisture. It's gonna be so juicy. That will be it'll allow for a very, very, very juicy uh, pork chop there and allow it to cook much more rapidly. Get all that garlic and thyme all inside the meat. Yeah. Yes. And it might brown, start, butter might start to brown a little bit, which is fantastic flavor. Perfectly fine, perfectly fine. Roasty toasty. So at this point, we probably have about 
a minute to two minutes left on those at most. Two minutes absolute most. And to get probably a good yeah. medium Pe temperature. Yeah, yeah, people are really scared to do anything less than medium well on pork, but there hasn't been a case of trichomonas pork in like 50 years. Yeah, no, I think it's a little longer than that. Because they deworm the pigs. Yeah. <laughs> At the, at the factory. But all, all antibiotics and stuff like that are bad. To oh, have in your yeah, meat. of course. Yeah, that's why there's a freaking withdrawal period. It is illegal to, to, to slaughter them for meat uh, within a certain amount of time of giving them any kind of drug. Yes. <sighs> I knew that would get a bit of a triggered moment out of him. <laughs> Oh man. Yeah, that whole no antibiotics ever bullshit. It make it makes them like have sicker animals. <laughs> they're they're taking advantage of a trend to make more money because they're spending less money on the chickens. Correct. Alright, so I'm gonna flip this over just to get a look at it. Thank you. I'm gonna get some filtered water. So I will say so it should be good temperature at this point. We're gonna is, go ahead and um, turn off the heat there. It is eight o'clock. <laughs> yes. So we may not be done with the uh, cinnamon rolls by the end time. The cinnamon rolls should finish. They only take about twenty minutes to uh, cook, and we're gonna need to let these pork chops rest. Very true. We don't want to cut into them. So what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna go ahead and plate these pork chops and. Uh, Get them all nice and prettied up. And then we're going to take that quick second, roll out the dough, which should be more than ready at this point. Dibs on this big motherfucking garlic clove. Oh, okay. I was going to say, you do not get dibs on the one that I cut. I cut that one for <laughs> a reason. That's mine. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there you go. That's a nice rise. Dude, freaking smell that. Mm. Alright. So actually, can you switch that to camera two? Uh we will be streaming DD as well. I just won't really talk much during stream itself. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. See what I mean? You got a little bit of a curl on yours? Yeah. All right. Obviously, don't eat the time, it's just for <laughs> decoration and jiffy's a loop. All right. So, that's our, uh, those are going to be our pork chops for the night. And let's get these out of the way quickly. We don't want to eat into them just yet. Definitely want to give them a bit of a rest period. How much butter you want me to melt? We're gonna need um, for this. How much for this? It's probably about half. Maybe a little less. I'm not quite entirely positive. I didn't really pay much attention to it. Enough to cover it. Yeah, yeah. So basically. basically, so some people say you mix it in there and put that on, but it's so much easier to just roll out the dough, put the butter on, and then sprinkle. Okay. Some sugar. Yeah, I've never done this, so I'm definitely. I'll default to you on this. I'm gonna need my rolling pin, guys. This will be the first time you've seen me use my rolling pin. Be sure to put some flour on the rolling pin too. Yes. I was I was literally thinking that in my head, Garrett. Don't forget the uh, flour on the pin. Don't forget the flour on the pin. Oh, 
So I uh, don't actually remember what, cam what campaign we will be using. Uh, did, do you remember what campaign we're playing? We're doing one of the beginner campaigns, and then we're going to branch off into like of the five of six different never campaigns. Played. <laughs> yeah. Um, eventually, I plan on hosting a game where I actually write out the campaign myself. But that'll be an eventuality, not a just yet. Uh, how thick am I supposed to roll this, by the way? Uh... Ready knife? Uh, shoot, I think that knife is actually in the sink right now. I tried to make, no, I did bread again. I needed the bread to cut. Oh yeah, roll that dip. Let's go ahead and keep moving stuff out of my way. I, didn't, uh, I had no anticipation for how, how far out this would roll. <laughs> None at all. Never, like I said, never done this portion of uh, of baking before. But I need a little bit more flour on here. Felt it stick for a moment. Wait, was that a bad thing? Okay. okay. <laughs> Try to get it as even as. It's all going to be in a big spiral, so it's any. Is that good? Do you think that's good? Yeah, that's, that's uh, plenty. Awesome. All right, do you have a brush? Um, I don't think I ever got a brush. Okay, uh, then wash your hands and you can spread it out with your hands. <laughs> all right, so from here. Butter. Try to spread it out evenly, but leave like a like an inch or two wide at the end. Okay. So it will stick. Feel. Spread all the way to this end. Oh, so just on the top end. Yeah, just on the top. Heard. On the mobile app dashboard. <laughs> uh, how far out here is that? Is that good, or should I keep going on the edges? Uh, you can go all the way to the edge, just at the top end. Just the top end. Just cool, the top cool, end cool, 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 cool. So that it'll seal, because that would be the the way from us. Gotcha. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, I see what we're talking about here. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Now we sprinkle this. I have a sifter. And then the chunks wouldn't go in. <laughs> oh, I lost a lot there. All right, so. Oh, shit. What? Heat, what time? Uh, I think 350 or it's either 350 or 375. <laughs> now you want to take your buttery hands, press the cinnamon sugar into the butter. Three fifty. Nice spread. He also spread the sugar out well, too. <laughs> Telling them our business. Now 
Oh, this is actually really well done. I'm basically just patting it down into the butter here. Very careful. Some would call me a liability, other would call others would call me a healer. <laughs> All right. All right. So once it's all spread out, you might want to. All right. Because they roll it. Here. Yeah. Hey, you know, hey, you know this one a little better than I do. I was entirely defaulting to you on that. All right. Do you want to start in the middle? You want to. Uh, you might want to. Get better from above. Yeah. Fixing that. There, oh no, you can see perfectly fine. A little bit too much here on the bottom. Up to this. Here. break off. Still absorb it. Thanks. <laughs> I figure a bit. I want to get rid of as much. <laughs> Continue your roll to the end. Oops, sorry. Good. I didn't mean to whack you there. Good. I put a little too much flour here. So we keep hitting it to get it off. I say a little, he says a lot. Yeah, it's all right. And that uh, bit of flour, or, or bit of dough at the end that you left the butter off, will act as a seal. So the trick with the flour to keep it from sticking, you want to just put barely enough to keep it from sticking. <laughs> I didn't know, I was doing it like it was the pizza dough, okay? <laughs> okay, what are we baking this in? I was not warned. What are we baking this in? Uh, I figured just either a 14 inch pan or you could use a cast iron or you could do basically anything we wanted really. I had that, I have the, uh, the equipment for for pretty much any form of uh, baking pan. Okay. So do we want to use my, um, a pan or do we want to use a skillet or what do we want to use? Well, if it depends on how big of a uh, cast iron skillet you have. The 16 inch one is the largest one I've got. I don't know if we'll be able to fit all of the uh, rolls in there. Heard. Here, go ahead and get some of that out. That way we can stop dodging it, you know? Yeah. This is the proper way to ha uh, handle a boa constrictor. <laughs> I think it is at least he would know <laughs> the fact that he didn't agree with me means it probably isn't uh, one person per foot of snake one person per foot of snake heard all right plus that the head. sounds frightening plus the head <laughs> so so like one for the head and then one for each foot of snake. gotcha okay okay is that any snake in general or just constrictors was that a I... Over about more than one person is needed. <laughs> Heard. You know, anything less than four feet, you probably. But if it's like my ball python Monty, who who is about four and a half feet, feet long, but he's like super docile. Yeah, he doesn't get. So I'm gonna grab the uh, trash can for you. Oh, that we can use two of these. For the thing. Yeah, yeah, true. It, it, it's 
your house, man. <laughs> well, yeah, I know, but I'm saying what equipment, uh, what would be, I don't know how much this spreads out, I don't know how much, So I don't know how much room we need, basically. Ideally, what we would do is cut them, cut them up into relatively small things and then let them rise in the pan for a while. Huh? And then they'll puff up more. But if we're just gonna go straight into the oven, yeah, we, want, sure, we, sure. we wanna we wanna give them like sides. We don't have to do it all in one vessel. That's what I was asking. Yeah, what was what would be the most efficient? So two pan, uh, two of these would probably be the best. Or actually, we have two. Uh, we have two options. Two of those. This is going to make a lot of friggin' sense. That would be pretty good, actually. Good uh, transference. All right. So. Oh, maybe. Like you just put shit away without actually checking if it was clean. Serrated knife. What I would do cut it approximately in half. Don't push too hard, long strokes. And then you want to take like you're cutting two. Take the two halves, line them up, and then evenly cut those into thirds. Then cut each of those into thirds. Get a good size. Cinnabon, Cinnabon roll. roll. If you're really fat, just roll the entire thing up into one giant roll. Serve it that way. If I serve it that way, I clearly mean eat it yourself. Because that's what we should have done. Yes, so they don't stick. And then you want your ends of your roll to go cut side down. Ever need a recipe for anything? Google Alton Brown's recipe for it, and such as blueberry muffins. A blueberry muffin, is, I followed the recipe exactly, and it was. Other than that, Alton Brown is. <laughs> See, but I'm starting to get to the point where I kind of want to just start. I want to wing it, yeah. And, you know, creating a handful of recipes myself. Seeing what they're, what they're like. Because I actually, I think one of my favorite things we've done on this entire show has been that Salisbury steak. And that's the one that I made myself. I actually was very excited about that. So now my question is, should we put butter on top of each of these? Hi! Because... <laughs> gotta... We're, uh, creating your own world is a whole hell of a lot more fun in D and D than following a campaign. But at the same time, if you're very new to the game, following a campaign is going to be healthier for the group because it'll be a lot easier for you to learn how to play. Dried pork flakes. <laughs> that actually kind of sounds good. Okay. Um. Take a print it and put that on. Okay. Good. Uh, one of these, you were saying? Yes. Uh, just... I put it in there before it comes to September. No, go ahead and just put it in there. 
but watch your face when you open it. Oh, it's up to them. Moot point. Pretty good timing, too, because it's about time for us to eat our pork chops here. Yes. Ah, shit. I thought I had enough space. Good means I have to move them. <laughs> you said move the rack. All right. So, um, ideally, we would have let those rise at room temperature for another, you know, twenty minutes or so, but we don't have time. So, yes. And speaking of time, let's eat our pork chops. Pork chop time. Yeah. I yeah, I just wasn't some people are more comfortable with serration, so I wasn't sure. I need a fork too, sir. <laughs> Right. I've got that temp set or timer set, and I'm gonna get myself some water. Ooh. What about poop? Beer. Beers. It. <laughs> what? Switch. Yes. Carbonated. Yeah, of course. Gonna have a huge head on that. I'm actually pouring it. I curl it. If you curl it, it doesn't. Eh, it doesn't get as much of a head to hold your cup at an angle. I'm holding my cup at an angle. No, no, no. Uh, so angle down and away from you, or into you, one or the other. So that basically, you're not you're not flowing straight into it. It spins around the, uh, the cup. It reduces the creation of the uh, the foam. There you go. Shatter the bottle. Don't do that. Those are expensive. <laughs> I figured. That's why I wouldn't actually do that. Now I can't promise I'll actually drink this. No he's, offense. He's very picky about his beer. I'm very picky about beer, but it's also beer is kind of not my thing, even when I'm picky about it. <laughs> so I'm going to take some pictures of the food. Instagram. Well, Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Now, at this point, you're, we are actually just letting the pork chop get cold. So, we gotta try this.
<laughs> no such thing. Wait. <sighs> right. Gonna take that apron off. So we can get into uh, dig into the food. Obviously, you don't dig in the. You would be very surprised, okay? You really would. I I wouldn't. Okay, then. I'm I'm in veterinary medicine. I'm. Yes, people are very very dumb. I did turn the mic, but at this angle, I don't think it's anything about turning it. I think I actually just. Okay. No, it's better, right? Is it? Okay, I don't know. I don't know how that happened, but it somehow the cable managed to get bent. Yeah, we good. Right. Yeah, I'm trying to close that. Okay. So now we're back. <laughs> Oh, I'm literally just biting into a piece of fat. That? I don't know. It was just, I was biting into it like it was a piece of meat. <laughs> and you have to bite into fat entirely different. Oh, man. And so the crisp edges are actually super crispy. Freaking peppers and onions. Yeah, good, On good choice. On fucking point. <laughs> and these little crispy pieces of garlic. I'm taking a little piece and eating uh, pork. <laughs> mm. Sweet and sour peppers, definitely. Mm. That's a bone. <laughs> Broke a tooth. 
And so, thing is, those peppers are actually like super easy to make, like you saw. Mm -hmm. Nothing to them. Basically, all the flavor comes from the peppers, the onions, basil, and, and like just the raw ingredients in them. Nothing crazy special. No, but it's so good. And that extra amount of sugar that I added there was to allow for caramelization on the peppers and onions. My mother suggested something to do with peach, and I was like, I have no idea what you're talking about. This is something I know how to cook. <laughs> it actually goes really well with this. Yeah. I'm gonna try it. Can't promise I'll like it. Uh, what you want to do is, you know, <laughs> good. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a bigger explosion than that. No, I let it sit for a minute. Man, those peppers are crazy sweet. Yeah, very. Like you would, you would honestly think we added way more sugar than we did. Yeah, and all I did was about a ha uh, about a tablespoon at most of of sugar there. I think it's all coming from the onions. Yes. It's all been drawn out. So delicious here. Oop, you're gonna... Stop. Mark. It's not gonna chill. Bro. Uh, I'll show bone. <laughs> Why are you getting so much bone? This is not like one bone at the end of the pork chop. It's like a bunch of pieces. Are they broken up bones? Mm hmm. Oh, that's so fun. Yeah. I can see how that's gonna do that to you. Swig, bro. At all. <laughs> Dude, are you still here? Okay. So is that is that why Brandon broke up? <laughs> Funny story there. Uh, actually, we'll save it for after stream. Yeah. We will go on a temp uh, pause I after the. Um, I still got to tell you my work story, too. Yes, you still got to give me that. We're going to go on a pause before D&D starts tonight. That way I can move my equipment around. Actually, I don't even know if I'll move the... Well, I'm going to be sitting right here with my laptop. We don't have time to go, go back home. Starts. So while I can see the enjoyment on this... You're not a huge you're just, fan of you're it. You're just not a beer guy. I'm really just not. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really just not a beer guy. The mead was good. Hence why the bottle's gone. <laughs> the mead he brought last week was phenomenal. I'm just not a beer guy. But, mm, mm, those peppers eliminate that flavor so fast oh my god that I don't even have to worry about it man those peppers were so good that's a fucking horrible thing to say <laughs> no honestly though I can understand why that, that tastes good like I can understand why it tastes good it's just not something I enjoy you know I, I don't sympathize with that uh, no, no, no. At all, but, no 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 I'm saying but you get it but I get it you know I don't like what you what you made, but what I made gets the taste out of my mouth so quickly. <laughs> what the fuck? Man? I'm sorry. I had to. <laughs> you know it was funny as fuck. Yes. <laughs> and it's like all across the top here because of the basting. Now I gotta drink this. Oh yeah. I'll seal that back up. Because that basing, you've got like crunchy bits, and you've got the black pepper and the mm. very good pork chop. Mine's gone up. already. <laughs> I noticed. He always eats so much faster than I do. Hence why I'm so fat.
I'm the base. I did move the table around. Okay. I moved the table and I have a um a tablecloth for it. I what are we gonna do about that bee? I'll get him out. I don't wanna kill him. I, I I'll get him out though. You don't want to kill bumblebees. They, huh? They pollinate lots of stuff. Yeah. So I said I don't want to kill them. Right. I'll figure something out though. At least we're not in Australia and it's not a hunt, huntsman spider. <laughs> But yeah, it is a, it's the table. I moved it out of the, out of the living room and into the actual dining area. Uh, little nook. It has a actual tablecloth on it now. And I'm gonna get something for the center of it, but for now, I just figured I'd throw the, uh, the pizza, ta uh, pizza slab in the middle of it. Do me a favor. What's that? Take a bite of your pork with the garlic. Oh, with yes. some garlic. And then immediately take take a, a, a swig of beer. Okay, okay. I can do that. I can do that for you. Swallow it all the way because I'm going to be drinking what you don't and I don't want your, your food backwash. <laughs> okay, okay. So with the garlic, do, you, do I get peppers as well or no? I wouldn't. They're a little strong. Okay, okay. So swallow the food and then? Then just take a swig of beer. The pairing is very... I'm just like... Trying to enjoy the, because yeah. I will say it is very good. Mm. You're right. There are little chips of bone here. That's not good. Mm. There need to go to an actual butcher next time. Yeah. The pairing is very good. See, that is enjoyable. I'm not going to drink it though. Yeah, I mean, fair. Yeah, yeah. But, but no, that tastes far better. Right. That way, it actually tastes. Far better. I don't think it's a good combo with the sweet and sour peppers. No, definitely wouldn't be. Or with the pork. And pork is big in German cooking too, and this is a German beer. Oh, okay, okay. Dunkelweizen. If you've ever had a Hefeweizen, this is basically just dark Hefeweizen. Mm, okay. Yes, okay, so the pork chops are cooked about three to four minutes on either side, and they're, what do you say, an inch and a half thick? Oh, inch. inch. Okay. Inch, inch and a half thick. Uh, they are decent. Like, they're the biggest size I could find. I wanted a little bigger, but I couldn't find any. You would have to go to, like, a real butcher for that, which you'd probably have to go to Nashville. Uh, yeah, because the one in Franklin is sold out of everything. Franklin's got nothing. Uh, I called before I drove 10 miles out of my way. Um, but yeah, so I cooked about three to four minutes on either side. With, based, based, with, uh, with a butter based on the and second side garlic and, and thyme. garlic and thyme it was mm. it's so good <laughs> and the fat is super melty as well so like when you go in to eat there's only a few portions of that fat that are too hefty to it's like crispy on the outside but you bite in and it just melts melts, melts right through uh, right through your mouth <laughs> That is a, a nefarious position for a bone. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. That's she a blade. Stab you with that in your mouth. That would have been terrible. And no, yeah, I'm just, I'm not a fan of beer. He knows I'm not a fan of beer. It's you nothing it surprising. Cooking. I do like to use it in cooking. Mm. That piece of fat right there just, I went to bite into it. It was gone before I got to bite into it. <laughs> and this would be so nice with a nicer cut of meat. Like you can do like a like a sirloin or a ribeye the same way. Yeah. And be uh I'd change up the spices good. though a little bit. Add some rosemary. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm being very or paranoid about this bone because this bone is um or a lamb chop. Be good mm. lamb chop for sure yeah this bone is very invasive <laughs> <laughs> not a very good butcher no that's not our fault they cut too deep for sure this is and it's an extremely juicy piece of meat 
<laughs> but that whole issue that I had with not having cups is gone. Yeah. Yeah. No. Um, so my mom told me a while back, <coughs> asked me if I wanted these. But I thought she was talking about a whole different set of cups and plates, or pl plates, I didn't know there were cups involved. Um, and they had these fruits on them, and I wasn't a huge fan of having plates with fruits, and they were very awkwardly shaped plates. They were like freestyle bowls. They're not very useful for much. And so I wasn't a big fan of them. And so I said no, because I thought that's what she was talking about. Right. Then the other day, I went and hung out with her for Mother's Day, cooked her breakfast and everything. That's our timer. Cooked her breakfast and everything, and it turns out this is what, uh, the red stuff is what she was talking about. All right. All right, guys. Ready? Yeah. But how long do you think we got left? Heard. We we'll just start that on ten minutes. That way we don't uh, we don't uh, lose any real amount of time. You can always yeah, just like adding stuff, you can always add more time. You cannot take that time cooked away. You cannot uncook something. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it rose great. Feels up. Good. There's no way I'm going to be able to eat all these peppers. <laughs> oh, your little baby stuff. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Not as hoppy as I thought it was going to be, which is good. I don't like super hoppy beers. It's good. I don't want to be friends with the hipster anyway. <laughs> so you shouldn't be friends with Jake then. Nah. Jake's like one of those cool hipsters. Where that he means... likes hipstery things, but he's not a dick about it. <laughs> Correct. He's like, he likes hipstery things, but he doesn't act like a hipster because obviously he donates his time and money to, uh, to things that are helpful to the, his community. And his, uh, his girlfriend had started her own photography business, and I think she's the one that's taking the photos for Instagram. Nice. I personally think I've gotten kind of decent at taking pictures for food, uh -huh. not anything else. And I don't mean great. I just mean passable. <laughs> The appetizing. <laughs> See, even after it's lost so much of its temperature, it's that crisp to it. Yeah, I saw that last night. I will say though, this is probably the best thing I, uh, we've done on stream so far. No, that fucking um, chicken parmesan was pretty damn good. Yeah, that was really good too. It's almost like we're actually learning how to cook properly. <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> Apologists at UT. Posted this. That's why you should this is cat outside. so poorly cut. I have this whole thing of meat right here. 
might be a little too pink to eat, and I'm not sure. But I want to eat it because it looks like... <laughs> I'm going to eat off the side of it where I know it's safe. But You can always microwave that a little bit. Yeah. But that means the way they cut it, it's actually more embarrassing than it was beforehand. Because that means they chipped off bone from the other from, steak from the or spine. the other uh, the other rib and their spine. Yeah, I I always forget which, but you yeah. know what I mean. Yeah. Instead of cutting onto the uh, onto it, it got cut through, which means it was probably cut by a machine, which is very upsetting. And they and they did, which it, it's fine to be cut by a machine if you align it properly. Correct. But obviously they did. But it definitely was not. So I would definitely advise next time going to a uh, butcher, An actual butcher yeah. or ordering a couple days in advance. And that way we actually have proper cuts and we can get a nice uh, know, inch and a half, two inch. Doesn't that smell good though? It does smell very good. Like I said, it's just something about the flavor of beer that just hits me wrong. Fair enough. <sighs> I, I'm... You're sounding very full. I am! But I, like, it's so good! It's so delicious and sweet. Just, ah... Oh. And I know they won't reheat. <laughs> he didn't make an aftermath this time. He was going to be... He'll be about 15 minutes late. Ah. So, he's not going to actually be able to eat uh, from stream anyway. Beans. But he can have a cinnamon roll. Mm hmm Most definitely. But yeah, so, every year... At a California Animal Rescue is tasked with rehabilitating hundreds of birds and other wild animals uh, by outdoor house. A few hundred pictured here did not survive. I wanted to create an image of how some of the impact uh, that's having the wildlife around our homes. Gotcha. They would be useless outside. They can't even catch bugs. That's why you shouldn't let your... Um, one one of the exotics vets, who's like a, the bird specialist, um, is actually on the board. We have a program at UT called Feral Fixin. Yeah. Where they, people catch feral cats, cats and bring them in fixed. They're, they're not populating more wild cats. Yeah. yeah. And uh, they they estimate that they they reduce feral cat population by like thousands. Because well, yeah, because every year... Every year they can have two litters with up to, like, six cats in them. Um, and then they, within it, within a year, can have another yeah, another two. Um, but uh, <laughs> Dr. Jones, the, the bird guy, like, he... Let's even pretend it's two years. He hates cats so much because they kill so many wild birds. And they've just decimated the wild bird population of, of America. And, and he said, you don't, you don't want me to be on that board because you don't want to know my opinion on what you're doing. My opinion is, you're advertising that, that you spayed 110 cats. I, my opinion is, you have 110 cats that you can get rid of. And I don't think he, I don't necessarily even think that's wrong. But, like, to an extent I but do, but... The, the theory behind feral fixins is there's something called, called the predator vacuum where it, if, if you just kill the feral cats that have established territories you actually end up with more feral cats in your area because things move in yeah partial of small smaller bits rather than the one dominant one having a big area that makes sense it's actually kind of an interesting thing <laughs> what oh, um <laughs> so my next goal for this stream though is definitely camera or uh, not cameras is uh lighting 
once we go from lighting, we're gonna then go into possibly camera, but I think equipment and then camera, like cooking equipment and yeah. then camera. Yeah. Like getting a meat grinder for attachment for the KitchenAid. Pasta roller. A pasta roller. Uh, one of those little Twizzlers. Uh, don't. Basically for like zucchini, to like noodle up zucchini and stuff like that into... You can just do that with, with, a, with a peeler though. I, I'm just saying for like longer noodles. Yeah. Or to... Uh, then I have a food processor which already has a bunch of atta attachments. So I can probably just use that instead. I uh, but yeah. So a couple different things that I want to do. And get, but yeah, you know, but... But like you know, even if I'm not going anywhere, as they say, I'm having a lot of fun with this. I have yeah. so much fun every single week with it. Absolutely awesome. It's a good time, and we get to experience some really good food. And some. How's our timer doing? Our timer? We probably have what eight minutes? No, oh no, it was a ten minute timer, not a twenty minute timer. So we have uh, we have a minute left. I can see from here. I don't think they're brown enough. I mean, we'll go and check. Of course, of course. Uh, but I don't think they Oh, yeah. That's why. I did it so that... I put it at that angle so that the uh, <laughs> dryer wouldn't be in, in uh, stream. Yet we're talking about it. <laughs> but the dryer should be gone here soon. soon. Timer's gone. There's no way I can finish that. Too many peppers for even me. Oh no, you actually... Alright, let me look. So, it's about 5% here, by the way. Yeah? Do you mean alcohol? Yes. You want to... Little or her? All right. I sit in this goddamn chair. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we'll get those a little darker. So like th three to five minutes. Yeah. I would say give it, give it five. I estimated ten fifteen last time. That was ten. for four yes well we've been sitting here for oh we hey, you know we let uh we, it sat there for a little bit extra um yeah yeah just to finish uh, i basically was like how much time did we i uh, waste throwing my stuff away 30 seconds how long has it been in the oven after the timer about 45 but it was open uh it was open air time See the difference? Yes. And awesome. that's a, it's also a bad cup for it in general, I will say that too. There's no way you can avoid a head entirely with that cup because it's got the ridges in it. So, and with those ridges, there's And just... this is also not freshly open. So, what are you excited for tonight? Indeed, bro. Indeed. <laughs> oh, so, guys. We're going to be ending pretty quickly after the um, cinnamon rolls are done, presented, and tasted. So, what I'm going to tell you guys now is my ending spiel, really. For the most part, just don't forget to go to the, uh, to the YouTube channel, The Soggy Green Bean, to check out the video if you want uh, another ta uh, another watch on cooking the, uh, the recipes you saw here today. I will give a link to the cinnamon rolls recipe, that way you guys have that, and I will just do a quick type up of the pork chops and onions, uh, uh, onions and peppers. That yeah. way. And then we'll be streaming D&D &D later, but we will not be engaging with you to not break immersion. 
Correct. It'll just be on in the background. For the most part, it is just intended so that if you want to enjoy some D&D content, you can. It will not be critical role levels of content, but we do have fun. We uh, we die a lot. Or at least we have so far. Well, we, we've got we knocked out. We just gained out. a level. We did just gain a level. We get knocked out a decent amount. We don't die yet. We have yet to die, but... We've come pretty close. If I, I think, if I hadn't rolled so shit on my poison spray, we would have been in a lot better area because it was two d twelve damage, or one or a d twelve damage or something. So that stream will be up by nine fifteen. Um, I have to move my computer around and we have to finish up these cinnamon rolls, but that stream will be started up about about nine fifteen. Nine fifteen. So um, you know, about thirty minutes from now. It will be, we will be live and active. Yeah, uh, sorry anybody who watched me make the beer, and I, I didn't film the bottling process, because that's, that's just boring. I just threw some sugar in the thing and put it in bottles. It was not worthy of a stream. <laughs> the, <laughs> the brewing process was barely worthy of a stream. Nip on the catnip. All right, B, get you out of the apartment. Yeah, let's try and get this B out of the apartment. All right, you look in the bed. Um, a bowl over it. Yeah, actually, I have a. Let's get the cinnamon rolls out of the oven. You grab those, I embarrass myself on camera. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, now that these have touched bugs, we'll wash them again. Well, no, that towel would definitely not work, it's wet. I think letting it rise at room temperature. Good idea. Uh, yeah, but we didn't have time for it. That's the problem. Great. Remember, time was something we reiterated multiple times. Yeah, um, Alton Brown's recipe actually has you make them and then keep them in the fridge overnight for a cold ferment and then bloom them in the oven with just the steam and bake them. <laughs> See, but this, the whole point of this recipe was to be able to do them inside of an hour. <laughs> so should we sit them in, uh, should we, uh... Oh, it's warm. Definitely want to do... I meant before or after we took them out. <laughs> oh, definitely before. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, yes. Food porn. And that's not on there. Nice and thick leg. <laughs> then we got more on the side in case you want more for your actual picture in the container first. They really are. <laughs> uh, 
Spatular. Go for some of the big. <laughs> He made him, we should get the big ones. Valid, fair. <laughs> oh, hold on. Hold on. Well, I would have recorded it normal. You can actually still hear the sizzling over here at the bottom of that cooking. HDR just before what do you want I chose which pork chop I wanted probably this one the small again I'm trying to lose weight <laughs> there I eat on this side yes well, that's why I have it in the middle of the table so the chances of you forgetting it are super low You'd be surprised. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and now for the taste test. Because I'm afraid we might have had too much flour on here. We as in me. <laughs> it does look like it absorbed really well. Yes. So it's going to be a little bit dense, but. Uh, you're right. The, uh, the cream cheese built, uh, icing would have been better. <laughs> Told you. I don't have cream cheese anyway. Yeah. I checked. Because people on stream bitched at me for it. <laughs> so I checked. <laughs> it was really, I didn't want to go to the store and buy anything extra. <laughs> I've already gone to the store, like four, uh, five different stores today because I couldn't find self rising yeast. <laughs> Literally, couldn't. You mean instant yeast? Yeah. yeah. It's self rising instant. Self rising flour. No. Has baking soda. Some of them are uh, labeled as self rising yeast. All yeast is self rising. Or uh, rapid rising yeast. Rap sorry. Rapid, rapid, rapid rising. rising yeast. Yes. That's what I meant. <laughs> All yeast is self rising. Yes. <laughs> self rising yeast, guys. And that's not true. It does no. not rise by itself. You still have to do stuff to it. <laughs> I think only sourdough is self, uh, self rising yeast. <laughs> if you put yeast in a glutinous matrix, it'll, it'll rise because it's just yeast. Correct. But. You don't, then it doesn't rise, so it's not self rising. <laughs> Friggin' semantics kid over here. <laughs> Another B. Hang on, shall I close that door? It feels so good outside, though. Yeah. All right, guys. So, they came out really well. Definitely should have used the cream cheese topping. I'm an idiot. It's and fine. Secondary rise after you make them would have been fantastic. Yes, a secondary rise would have been phenomenal. But. Like I said earlier, if you want to see these recipes and more, go to, the, uh, go to the Soggy Green Bean, hang out with us, and leave me a like if you would like. And there will be the entire recipe below the video and or any links that I have used to uh, find the recipe. So if I didn't make it myself, there will be a link to it. So, that being said, I will catch you guys in about 20 for some deep fun. Hopefully. See you there.